So you like Psy? What? Why not? Why don't you like Phi? What's wrong with Phi, huh? Phi is perfectly good. It's fantastic. With Phi is, is great. It has perfect consonants. Hey guys, welcome back. That's by Kai. I'm Kai, and today we're we're back in Blender <laughs> once again, taking a look at how to make a cool sci-fi material, possibly a '70s wallpaper material. But hey, guess what? It's animated. I love doing these animated material tutorials because they're just so cool. I'm gonna hit delete on my keyboard, get rid of default cube. I'm sorry, and default lamp. And uh, yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and select the camera. And I'm just gonna hit Alt G, Alt R. Actually, we don't really need this in here either. Just you know, we can forget that. We don't really need it at all, to be honest with you. <laughs> we can just delete everything. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna hit Shift A, and we can do this with a with a sphere, um, but we can also do it with a plane. And I'm gonna do it with both this time. So we'll hit Shift A, search for a, a sphere and a plane. R X 90 on the plane. G Y G X. Sorry to move it over. And then with the sphere, I'm gonna go ahead and go to Object. Shade smooth as always, and then of course I'm gonna put a little bit of subsurf modifier on that bad boy, shebang. And then I'm gonna split my window into two because we're done with all this nonsense now. Split it into two. Uh, change this, of course, to the shader editor, and then we'll just get rid of that piece because we don't need it. So <laughs> I'm gonna go to the material tab and hit this little drop down, add this material on both of these objects here. So now we can see it on both of them. Scroll on over. Hit rendered viewport shading as always. Now what I'm going to do is I want to use an emission material. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'm, I'm turn my overlays off. I hit this little button, by the way. Turn my overlays off right there. And I'm going to get rid of the principal BSDF shader because we don't need that. Delete. Now, I'm going to hit shift A and search for emission. And I'm going to just grab that. Click. Put it right there. Plug that into the surface. Now, boom. We got something crack a lacking. I'm also going to change the background to solid black like that. And one more thing. I'm going to go ahead and do... Uh, I'm going to go to the scene tab here and turn the frame rate to 60 and I'm going to go to uh, b -b 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 color management on the other tab here and go from filmic to standard. There we go. Now everything's perfectly solid white. There we go. So now I'm going to go ahead and hit shift A search and we're going to search for a couple things. We're going to search for a wave texture. We're going to search for a Voronoi texture. So V-O-R shift A to search of course. I'm going to line these up like this. And then we're going to grab, hit shift A, uh, well, well, color ramp, color ramp right there. And then shift A, I think that's it. We might, I might want to do, I might want to do, no, transparent. I might want to do transparent too. Um, yeah, there we go. All right, so, so cool. Uh, and uh, we're going to need a mix shader as well. So mix shader. All right, so we might not need these two down here at the bottom, depending on what you want to do, but I'll just, I'll just tell you about them just in case. So. Uh, I'm going to hook all this up now, so the Voronoi texture is going to, the color is going to go into the scale of the wave, then the color of the wave is going to go into the color ramp, and then the color ramp is going to go into the emission, and we're done. Boom shicky. Boom shickity. There you go. We're done. We're finished. It's over. That's it. Goodbye. Um, no, I'm joking. So we're going to go ahead and do a couple of things. I'm going to change this from linear to constant, and I'm going to drag this white color backwards. Now take a look at that, would you? Isn't that the coolest thing you've ever seen? Oh man! So now we can we can literally animate this just like this, and it's over. I'm gonna change my start frame to zero, cause annoying. I'm gonna go ahead and, and uh, hover my cursor over top of this little this little uh, position button and hit I. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and go to the uh, last frame and hit I. I well, I'm gonna change my in frame. Sorry, I'm gonna change my in frame first. Let's go ahead and change my in frame to 100, and then I'm gonna hit this little back button right here, this little end button, and then I'm gonna hit I over top of position on frame 50. I'm going to change this position to zero, then hit I, like that. So now when we play this, you can see what happens here, which is just the coolest. But I do want some, I want a space in between. So we're going to change uh, to 150 instead of 100, 150. And then for 50 frames, it's going to stay white. So I'm going to change my position to white. And then on the last frame, we'll go back to the black. All right, so that's what I want to do. So now it'll, it'll hold for 50 frames, white which is nice, and then I'll go back. Um, actually, you know what? It needs to be 200 because I want it to hold as black, too. So this will all be black. Yeah, perfect. So now we got it right. There we go. So now white, black, white. There we go. Cool. So now you can see this is so cool. I thought this was the coolest thing ever because this looks like a really neat sci-fi animation. Um, and, the, and the even greater thing is is that... Um, I should actually do something real quick. So on frame... On frame 50, 
let's change the position to 0 0.05 and then hit I. Then on frame 70, we'll change it to zero. Hit I. Then on frame, uh, on frame 80, we'll go point, we'll, we'll hit, we'll make sure it's on zero. And then on frame 110, or, or 100 rather, we'll go point zero zero five. Hit I. Now it kind of softens the transition, so it's not that like abrasive, which is much better. Um, I'm turning viewport denoising off as well, so it doesn't like have that jarbly stuff. All right, so this is really cool. Um, I love it a lot, and we can change the color as well. So we can animate the color too if you really wanted to, um, which I'm going to do very slightly. So we'll use a literally sci-fi color like that. Um, and then I'll change it. So hit of our cursor over top of that, hit I, go to frame 100. Then I'll change uh, the color to maybe like a purple, like this. And then hover my cursor over top, hit I. Then we'll go back to the other the thing and you know what I'm doing instead of I'm gonna we'll insert both of those at the same time so we have the same color so I'll go to the in frame I'll go to the first frame insert that keyframe of the blue go to the last frame hit I hover over top of that and then we'll go in the middle this time so now because I don't want to have to get the hex and then copy it over here we can just hit both of those uh, keyframes at the same time then we have to change it so purple and then we'll I now they go so now it's gonna change from that blue to the purple which is pretty cool, I guess, you know. Or maybe we'll do, we'll change it from the, uh, that to, we'll, we'll change it to the white. We'll change it from that to the white, from the blue to the white. So it's like pulsing, I guess, right? Which is kind of cool. Um, I want that to be kind of faster. So let me just real quick, I'll split my window in two. And then I'll just, this has nothing to do with the tutorial, but that's fine. Um, <laughs> we'll just grab the sphere color here. And we'll just select all those. Wait, no, there's a material. There we go. Grab these material uh, nodes and we'll just hit S. To scale them, uh, S, scale them inwards. That's gonna scale more than everything. That's gonna scale everything. Yeah. So I have to go in between more. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. These right here. These are the ones I'm looking for. We'll select these rather, and then hit S to scale them. And I'll scale them halfway, and then hit Shift D to duplicate, and then we'll move them over. All right. Cool. B to box select. By the way, to box. Uh, select like that. All right, so now the pulsing is faster, which is what I wanted, which is cool. I like it so much. Oh, yeah. And you can go ahead and customize this further by, uh, let's go really quick at the beginning, uh, or at the end, rather, right about there. All right, cool. So if you really want to customize this, you can see if I zoom on in here, you can make some really cool stuff with this. So if I change some of these values, like, for instance, to scale, I can make it either bigger or smaller, which uh, you don't want to go too small because it's going to start looking weird. Like, I mean, I guess that's kind of cool still. You can change this, put it back on five. You can change the distortion on the wave texture as well. Um, and you can, you can actually animate both of these. So that's something really cool. Now, if I were to go ahead and let's say I wanted to undo the animation of the color ramp. You can, you can animate this multiple different ways, which is great about, which is one of the great things about this. I'll just put another one in here real quick just so I can show you. Um, now I'm going to do something like that. Now, maybe I want to animate the distortion value of the wave texture instead. I can do that, which is really cool. So, um, hover my cursor over top of distort, hit I, then go to maybe frame hundred, change it to 50 and then hit I, and then go back to the last frame zero I perfect. So now, um, and then I'll turn the scale of the Voronoi to 15. All right. So now you can see What's happening here is it has this really, really cool effect, which is just really, really awesome. And now if you pair this with the color ramp, you can see how the, the animated color ramp, rather. If you pair this with this, then you can see you have a really, really cool kind of animation going on. You can animate this till the, till the cows come home. You can animate this forever, and it still looks really awesome, which is just a really cool thing about this material. Um, you can do the same thing with detail. Now, if I zoom in here, you can see the detail. Turn that up. Turn the detail scale up too, as we get this nice little kind of brush stroke, which is really, really cool. Love this so much. Anyway, all right, cool. So we have a lot of different things. You can change this to cells instead of intensity. Oh, that is awesome! Wow, check that out. That's pretty cool. That's gonna be it for today's tutorial. Hope you boys and girls enjoyed it. I'll see you in the next one. But until then, bye bye.